Well, it's been another successful nesting season for Florida sea turtles. Now, while we didn't break any records, the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation says this year's numbers were just under last year's record-breaking season. In fact, in 2023, SCCF reported there were 406 sea turtle encounters. This year, just a little less at 353. Since the agency started documenting turtles in 2016, they've now tagged nearly 1,200 individual sea turtles. Pretty impressive. The turtles welcome to Sanibel Island for the first time got nicknames like Cheese It, Pizza <laughs> Roll, and my favorite, Ruffles. One of the loggerheads, Bonita, was seen on Sanibel six times this year. And this green sea turtle was tagged on Sanibel for the first time. SCCF named her Guacamole. <laughs> That's a good name, too. A reminder, folks, nesting season ends in October, but most of the egg laying actually ended last month. It does take two months for the eggs to incubate and also hatch. All oh, those names made me hungry. Yeah. All right, well, while sea turtles have had their success, the same, unfortunately, cannot be said for some of our nesting shorebirds. SCCF says part of the problem with nesting numbers has to do with sand renourishment projects on Sanibel. According to nesting numbers, this year was the lowest amount of snowy plover nest attempts on record. There were just two. It was the first time zero chicks fledged in more than two decades. The good news is least turns like the one that you see here in the ones you see here in the picture, they were able to successfully fledge young on the Sanibel Causeway. And SCCF says it was the first time in at least 30 years. Well, looking ahead to later this month, Collier County is hosting an event, the 2024 International Coastal Cleanup. It's happening Saturday, September 21st from 8 to 11 a.m. If you are interested and you want to sign up, head to our website, nbc-2.com, and check under news links.